Hello everyone, my name is Liu and today I'll be teaching you how to set up a bullet journal. So I've had so many requests for this and I'm finally doing it. For those who don't know what a bullet journal is, it's basically a notebook filled with lists. So this ranges from daily to-do lists, lists of music you like, TV shows you need to watch, and it basically helps you put all your life together. Originally, I was a bit reluctant on using my own because it is kind of personal, but I thought it was quite important to show a real example of a bullet journal because especially on Tumblr, you see some that are just absolutely perfect. I don't know how they do it, but uh, I think it's important to focus more on achieving what is in your to-do list rather than making them. Here the goal is really just to put everything in one place and be practical and get stuff done. So any notebook will do. Mine personally has lines, but otherwise you have journals with grids. These are very good because it helps you draw the little squares for to-do lists if you're not really good at drawing squares. So yes, I got my notebook from Typo. It's an Australian store so I'm not sure that it's ever around the world, but I love it. It's perfect. It's made of buffalo skin and it has a little pocket. It has a little pocket. Oops. Everything's falling apart. Any notebook honestly will do. So yeah, that's it. So let's get into actually setting one up. <laughs> So the first page of my bullet journal is the personal information page. So this is where I keep information about myself. The main purpose of this is so that if I lose it, someone can locate it back to me by knowing my name and uh, the university I go to, etc. So it's also good to put in your email address and your phone number, just as examples. Uh, then the next pages are my goal and motivation page. I find having a goals page super useful as it really makes your aims clear and it makes it kind of tangible. It's always really important to write your goals in general and it's nice to keep everything together. And then I also have the motivation page so I can just go back to it whenever I'm feeling lazy or unmotivated. They're really, really useful so I definitely recommend for you to have some. So the next page is the important information page. So this is where I have all my login details, so username, passwords, uh, flight bookings. The thing is I don't recommend you have this page if you carry your bullet journal around with you everywhere because if you lose it, you don't want a stranger having this type of information. I have it because I actually keep my bullet journal at home at the moment, so yes. And then next we have the legend and the key page. So as you can see it's pretty straightforward, I have lots of little symbols which each represent something. You don't have to have a legend, I mean I just have it because I forget what my symbols actually are. Then next I have my music to download page, so this is really great because whenever I hear a song and I don't want to forget to download it, I just write it down and tick it off when I have. And then I have my study playlist on the other page. So for example, whenever I'm watching a television series and I love the soundtrack, I write it in. Then I have movies to watch, another idea for a bullet journal page, so just a whole list of movies I want to watch and again I tick them off when I have watched them. And then on the right page you'll see an actual example of a daily bullet journal page. As you can see there is the obvious list, then there is the food diary, so I write my breakfast, lunch and dinner. I did this especially before my exams because I wanted to stay healthy and keep track of what I eat and also how much I drink. So as you can see I have little cups and I would fill them in to see how much water I would drink. As you can see not a lot on this day but <laughs> I got better I promise. Then this is another example of a two-page spread. Yes, I know, it's pretty neat, but uh, this was at the beginning of making my bullet journal, and you know, whenever you start something new, you're always really determined to make it perfect, which is what I was trying to do. But basically what I have here is firstly a quote for each page, I just like having that, with also a word on each page uh, and their definition, so a new word that I want to learn every day. I also want to stress that you have so much freedom when making your bullet journal, and for example, on the left here I've actually written a recipe that I really like and I have actually made a video about it. And then on the right page I just have ideas for one of my other videos that I did. So whenever before I make a video I just use an entire page to write down ideas and plan it. Then again more examples of daily spreads with my to-do lists every day. Then it just kind of goes on 
quite a while, progressively getting messier and messier, but you get the idea. So I want to show you the back of my bullet journal, so this should be sticking down. This keeps on falling out. <laughs> so on this page I basically just have um, sticky notes so whenever I want to use them in the journal I just refer to the back and I also have a little pocket to keep in loose sheets, things like that. Then starting from the back, just a random pen testing page because I always have so many pens and I never know which ones work. So on the right I have my wish list so that's just mainly things that I want to buy. <laughs> and then on the left I have a page with all my YouTube video ideas which you can't look at because it's a secret. Then I have my Tumblr ideas, then I have my reading list. Having a reading list is such a good idea for a bullet journal, so you put in all the books you are planning on reading. And also you might want to have a page on books you have read just to keep a record. So then we have my favourite page, it's basically just a record of all my spending. So as you can see here I have the status of the money I have, then the information on how I got it or how I spent it, and then the date. So this is such a good idea for keeping track of the money you have and I use little green arrows for when I earn money and I use little red arrows going down for when I spend money. And then on the left I basically just have little receipts and important things. So yeah, it's just a good idea to have all your financial information on a two page spread. It really helps you organize the amount of money you spend and make sure you don't do anything stupid, which is what I usually do. <laughs> so those were the basic pages I have in my bullet journal. There are so many more ideas you can do and I'll make lots of my ideas pop up on the pages, so they should be popping up right now. And that's basically my bullet journal. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was kind of helpful to see an example of what one looked like. Um, this bullet journal has saved my life. This is this week's page, actually. <laughs> so yes, I hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you later. <laughs>